Hey, what's up guys? Growing the Hobby coming back to you guys with another hockey video. It's actually part two of a hockey video because the first one just took so doggone long because it's so many packs in this hobby box. Uh, if you guys didn't see part one, check that out. Be my guest. It was about a 24 minute video, I think, or something like that. I'm going to try and make this one a little bit less, but we're in the middle of a hobby box, a 94-95 Pinnacle Series 2 hockey. Um, yeah, there was 36 total packs in here, 14 cards per pack. It was a heck of a lot of cards um to get through and stuff and some of the packs were sticking hopefully that changes today um and we don't have any stickage at all that would be nice because that helps with the flow uh the things we were looking for rink collection artist proof rookie team pinnacle gamers those are kind of the big things i'm going to do a recap at the end, end of this video if you missed part one and you don't feel like watching that whole thing but the main card that we are hunting for is card number 288 the sylvain turgeon card which happens to be a patrick kane pre-rookie card yeah so it's a crazy thing i'll just show it to you guys we pulled one in the first video we're looking for doubles and triples today guys so this is the card we're looking for we pulled this and a very very nice one with that pack fresh no stickage um from part one of this video so this is that card that we're talking about and right up there as you guys can see right on the glass that is a young i believe eight-year-old patrick kane on his father's lap uh this is considered a patrick kane pre-rookie card very very cool card Always wanted to have one of these and stuff in the PC. So I'm hoping to maybe pull a second one today so that maybe I can get... Uh, I'm doing this break here for my buddy Austin. Maybe he'll let me uh, have one of these these uh, these cards and stuff. Because like I said, I do not have one of those in my collection. I would love to get a Patrick Kane pre-rookie card. Because I just think it's such a cool card. Um, and a little bit of stick here on pack number one. But it's not too, too bad. So, so it seems at least. And we got another rookie. There's going to be a lot of rookies and stuff like that. We're going to fly through most rookies. Um, we're going to try to pause if we can on, you know, some of the better cards. And if I miss one, you know, it might happen because it's a lot to get through. Byron McCabe. But we should get some of those rank collection cards, um, gamers, things like that. We've gotten ours proof in the first video. Unfortunately, we've got two redemption cards <laughs> for rank collections. Which, uh, this one has stickage. But, um, you know, that kind of blows my mind. I had no idea they were actually doing those redemptions back in this product back in the day and stuff. I, I did not open any of this product as a kid, uh, to my recollection. So, I think this is honestly, this, this hobby box is the first time I've ever opened this. So, it's kind of a new experience for me, as well as I'm sure a lot of you all out there watching this video. Because it's not something you see open every day. Jeff O'Neill. lot a lot of cards i just can't believe how many cards i mean i think i said this in the first video but i'm going to say it again today there's our first icebreakers today jason allison um we'll get a, quite a few of those but uh yeah i said it in the first video i'm going to say it again if you are a collector not trying to make a video um you know i'm making the video here so that kind of where it bites me but jamie store um this is a great box for a collector because you get a lot of cards a lot of bang for your buck alexander dake uh world junior there but you get a lot to open and a lot of cards and there is some you know definitely big potential and fun potential with that with inserts and all that stuff like that and the patty kane i mean who would know him back in the day you know patty kane brett lindros there um icebreakers that that was you know going to be such a huge card i mean nobody would have thought that card at the time you know who the heck is setting aside uh sylvain turgeon base cards you know from from uh, 94 95 pinnacle there's a peter forsberg that's a nice icebreakers first time we've seen that one well wow, a, a lot of icebreakers in this one victor kozlov Ray corville juniors and yeah i mean we, we saw even in the first video we were getting doubles and triples and maybe even quadruples of some cards uh, i'm not exactly sure if we hit four of any of the cards but i feel like we did chris was good um so let's hope that we can at least, Alexi Osh in there, at least get another Patrick Kane pre-rookie card today uh, in the second half of this box. I'm hoping for even more than that, though, to be honest, Darcy Tucker. I'm hoping to get, you know, three or four would be ideal, but at least another one. At least another one. Probably for selfish reasons, because quite honestly, I want the card for my PC, and I'm hoping to maybe get one off of... Uh, my buddy Austin that I'm doing this break here for. So, yeah, 
I'm pulling for myself right now. <laughs> pulling for Austin, but myself as well. I'm not greedy. I just want one. I hope we get five in here. Austin can have all the others, but I want just one. Palafontaine. Come on. Man, not, nothing landscape in this one, Jeff O'Neill. Because as you guys saw, I showed you the example of the card. It's going to be a landscape card, so all these kind of vertical cards. Automatically, the second you see something vertical, I know that's not going to be the card we're looking for. I can't even remember, actually, in the last video, who was the precursor, if there is a precursor, um, that, that follows suit. I'm not honestly sure if there is or not. But we'll have to see. That is if we can hit one here today again. Uh, I'm trying to pile these up in the or, a little bit of organization here for my buddy so that he has these in appropriate piles afterwards. So real come on, baby. Well, we got, I think, a ring collection coming up. It's one of those checklists. Looks like a ring collection card again. Rick Talkett. Vasque. Yeah, I'll show you guys the Jamie store. It looks like one of those per pack, and I didn't even really touch on that. It is a ring collection, Neil Broughton. So, there you go. Actually, no, that's Paul Broughton. Why is I calling him Neil? Neil Broughton, it's Paul Broughton. Um... That would be sick to get the Patrick Kane and like the ring collection or his proof or something like that. That would be huge, 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 huge. But I'm not going to hold my breath for that. Like I said, I just want to get one more. There's a nice Brett Hall. I think it's actually the first time in this whole box we got a Brett Hall. Uh, set that in a good pile there. Another checklist. Yet, come on. And it's not like they're purposely doing it with, like, you know, like, trying to only make sure you get, like, one per box. Because, like I said, back in the day, this this was not uh, some, you know, real sought-after card or anything like that. Because who the heck would think that you want the Sylvain Turgeon base card? You know, nobody nobody was hunting and buying boxes that for to get a picture of a kid in the stands that they would have absolutely no idea would turn out to be who he is. So, I mean, you would honestly think with all these triples and stuff that we got in here that there is a very good chance um, of pulling, you know, multiple of those Patrick Kane pre-rookie cards. And I hope that's the case, but we'll see. We'll see. Because we're definitely starting to get down to the sort of the bottom here. I mean, we're under 10 packs, that's for sure. Uh... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Heck yeah, there we go. There's number two, and also very, very nice shape. I don't see any paper loss or anything like that. Heck yeah. There's Patty Kane once again on his dad's lap. So, heck yeah, guys. We got our second Patrick Kane pre rookie card. Very, very nice. We're going to sleeve and top load that one here. Heck yeah. Can we get three? Can we get three? Oh, that would be sweet. Can we get three? I'm happy. I think Austin's going to be happy. For sure. And the card, you know, it used to have uh, some really, really good value to it. Um, and, and it still does have value to it. Don't get me wrong. It's just such a cool card. It has nothing to do with the value for me. That's that's a card that I just want in my PC. Because it's always one that I've, I've kind of wanted and had on the radar. And I didn't want to buy it. You know, outright or something like that. I just, I wanted, that was one of the cards I'm like, you know what, I want to pull that card. And it's awesome that we pulled not one, but two of those here from this hobby box. So, Brett Lindros. And I have no idea if this is, you know, how these hobby boxes normally go. Um, so, you know, it, it might be worth picking up a hobby box if you can of this. I mean, this is not a cheap hobby box, though, I will say that. Um, you know, sealed product definitely tends to sell for more than you know, singles. Of a lot of the cards and stuff, and this is no exception here. You know, this this box, hobby box here, sells for well over a hundred dollars still, uh, for sure. Well over a hundred dollars. I mean, there's definitely some sales of over two hundred on this. Um, that's a nice one, Valerie Burry, Pavel's brother, rookie card right there. Not as famous, obviously, as his brother, but uh, he's he's almost more famous for his wife, um, DJ from Full House, Candace Cameron, Candace Cameron Burry. Um, that is his wife. 
And can we get another Gleeson rookie? Come on. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's being greedy. I can't expect to pull another one of those Patrick Kane pre-rookies, but that would be so cool. Let's get triples, huh? Let's get triples. And Ricky Tockett. Jeff Friesian. All right, we're down to our final, what does that look like? Six, not including this pack here, six packs. So, still have a chance. Definitely still have a chance. This one, oh, this one's really bricked, though. Oh, boy. This one feels like one of the worst ones yet with the, oh, my gosh, with the brickage. I'm going to pull this back and just kind of get these unstuck real quick. I don't want to knock the camera over, so I don't want to do it, like, right there. But uh, make this flow a little bit quicker here as we, oh, my gosh, come on. Kind of toggle through these cards. And... Come on, last one, last one, last one. Come on. Get off of there. All right. All right, let's see what we have here. That was a, a definitely a very brick-worthy pack. Jonas, Shaw, uh, Jim Pack, Don Bupre, Mike Ricci. Sutter or nothing was really crazy in that pack, so at least. So Dan Cloutier. This one, I don't know why, but this one kind of feels like a brick, too. You can almost feel it through the wrappers. Um, yeah, it is, but it doesn't feel as bad. Brian Ralston. But then again, maybe I'm totally wrong. <laughs> eh, maybe it's a little more brick than I thought. Uh, let's just try and fly through this one on camera. Uh, Marcus Tchaikovsky. Icebreakers there. Man, a lot of these icebreakers. I'm not going to individually, when we do the recap in this video, I'm not going to individually show every icebreakers, but I'll just kind of toggle through them. we got a lot of, uh, oh, geez, that's stuck too. A lot of icebreakers. Jason Allison. I'd say quite possibly more than one per pack on average. And last one there is going to be Jamie Rivers. All right, finally down to our last five total packs, including this one. Oh, there's a nice one. I think we pulled this one time already, but that's a nice one again. Icebreakers, Murray Berger. That's uh, definitely a good one. Glad to have that on top, too, so that you don't have any paper loss there if, if there was stickage, uh, which is actually not as bad as I thought this one was going to be. Brian Smolensky. Ray Johnson. Dahl. Jason Arnold icebreakers. I mean, like, look at the amount of icebreakers. It's just, whew, lots and lots and lots of these. Trevor Kidd, Richardson, and Alexander Day. This one kind of feels like it was vacuum sealed, so I'm going to guess it's a brick. Some of these, yeah, they just have, like, a little weirder feel than the others. Yep, and it indeed was a brick. It's weird. Honestly, it felt like it was, like, vacuum sealed. That's how I knew it was going to be a brick. It's just like totally all the air was sucked right out of it. Mike Renberg. Come on. Let's get one more. One more for good measure. Chris Osgood. Oh, boy, these last. There we go. Lexi Ocean Icebreakers. Wells. Brian McCabe. I wonder at this point if we're going to get any more of those rink collection things or anything at this point. Any any other cool inserts other than just icebreakers, which it seems quite an abundant uh, group of. Last three packs, last three packs. Bobby Holik starting us off on this one. Ben Moore, Whitney, so there's pretty good players here that had some good NHL time. Thomas Sandstrom. Rivers, Young Garpinov. Oh my gosh, come on. Steve Cotton Walchuk, Ronnie Hextall, now GM of the Pens, Andrew Castles, Jason Daw. Oh no, <laughs> the dreaded redemption card again. Third one out of this box, and there's our World Junior card here on the end. It's uh, Ryan Smith. I think it's actually the first one of those we got. This one is 528, card number 528. So again, in the description, I will put who that redemption is going to be. I'll look it up and figure that out. Third redemption out of this box. So that's the only thing I'd caution. If you go to get these boxes, I mean, I assume you're not going for the ring collection. 
um, for the most part. But um, I assume you're probably going for the Patrick Kane. So if you're going for the Patrick Kane solely, you should be fine. If you're going for things like the Rink Redemption and stuff like that, uh, Rink Collection, I, I would I would watch because there's a lot of those. Uh, second one of these we pulled, and that's probably my favorite picture out of these. Uh, Mark Messier Stanley Cup one, that's pretty cool. Uh, Paul Coffey. All right, some landscape cards. Come on, let's get lucky. Let's get lucky. Now nah, we'll go back to the rookies. <laughs> well, no, we got some more landscape. Come on, come on. We can do it. Let's do one more. Come on, one more. One more for good measure. <laughs> come on. Come on. I believe you can do it. And Alexander Digg. And we're done to our last pack here, finally, guys. The last pack, finally. And then we'll do a quick, as quick as I can, at least, recap of this hobby box, both parts one and two. For anybody that doesn't want to watch the other, you know, 20, uh, I don't know, what it was, 24-minute video or whatever. It's just, oof, it was a lot of cards. A lot of cards, as you guys can see. A lot of cards. Let's have that last pack mojo, though. That would be so cool to end with another, our third. Let's get the hat trick of Patty Kane pre rookies Checklist. Oh, come on. Get my hopes up with these landscapes. Mm, Brett Hall. Second one of those, I believe. Uh, it's not looking like it's going to happen, but that's okay, guys. And our last card is Wade Red, and again, I think that's the third one of those. We got the World Juniors, so... Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, yeah, guys, not a bad break. Uh, a long break, I know that, but it was a lot of cards to get through. I mean, the, just, my gosh, you see, you see the stack of cards here. It's off camera. Just like the base and stuff like that. I'm not even going to show you. It's just too many. But, I mean, these icebreakers. My gosh, look at all these icebreakers. I, I, I don't even know. There's There's got to be – somehow that got mixed in there, that rookie. But, uh, yeah, honestly, there's there's got to be almost – there's got to be almost uh, – one of, one of these per, per pack, almost on average. A lot of those, a lot of rookie cards. I'm only going to go through the huge stack of that. A lot of the World Junior cards as well. I mean, some of the cooler, I guess, World Juniors I set aside. We got three, I think, of these Wade Reddens. Uh, Ed Jovanovski here to say. Jovo again. Yeah, two, three Wade Reddens. Those are kind of cool. Uh, we did get one single artist proof. Imagine getting this one in the Patrick Kane. My gosh, that would have been sick. Uh, it's not really, you know, obviously a huge card, but it's an artist proof. There you go, of Jason Smith. That's the only artist proof we got out of this. Unfortunately, we got three of these Rink Collection Redemptions. Uh, I will put, like, like I said in the description, who these are. 540, 522, and 528. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to redeem those. And Rink Collection cards, if you're wondering what do those look like, well, here's our actual ones that we got in the flesh kind of thing here. So, Broughton, we got a rookie there of uh, Lockenen. Oh, uh, my gosh. Benning. Icebreakers, that's probably maybe the coolest one there. Victor Kozlov, that's a pretty cool one. And then last but not least, my gosh, you can't even see it. Adam Foote, I couldn't even see that in that. Uh, so we got five live ones and, I guess, three redemption ones. Then we got two of the gamers. Both really, really cool ones for sure. Wendell Clark in that uh, Nordiques kind of design there. And then definitely the best one, Yarmir Yager in the pens design there with that nice gold shine and whatnot and then yeah the cards it was all about that we hunted from the beginning i'm going to sleeve and topple with this one here momentarily but we got not one but two i guess i should show you guys this one here i don't want to play with that other one too much without it being cased patrick kane pre-rookie cards right there once again i think he's like eight years old in that picture on his dad's lap there on the uh, sylvain turgeon card there in the background uh just a really really cool card one of those unique and oddball cards that uh, any hockey fan wants to have in their pc i definitely do and uh you know, my friend Austin definitely does now as well. All right, guys. Uh, thanks again for t staying tuned. If you watch part one and part two, I applaud you. Uh, a long, long video here in general. Uh, you know, my gosh, what we're over 40 minutes probably combined here with this whole hobby box. Lots and lots of stuff. But, yeah, once again, I appreciate you all for staying in with this one in part one. Uh, please do me a favor. Like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys. As always, in the description below, you can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. Other than that, have a great day, a great night wherever you are at, and we will see you next time.